Hey there, how are you? I'm Paula, and as you saw on this video, I'm going to be painting on playing cards. This is going to be my creative play for the day, and I truly hope it inspires you to do something creative as well. Let's go. Okay, so here are the cards. I have these from incomplete sets that my mom owned, and I had two types, but I'm going to go for this one. Because it's a little bit more rough, you can definitely even hear the difference in the texture. And even though the other ones have more space on them, I'm going to use this one because I think the paint is going to stick better. So we'll see. My original idea is to use the space of the cards that has the queens already on them, so you can still see they were real playing cards. And that's why I said the other ones have more space. So I went ahead and covered all of the queens. I'm going to do one per suit. And after the first layer of paint, I started to sketch my first new queen. And it felt weird for me that the sketch was covering a part of the diamond. So I thought and I thought and I was like, okay, damn it. I'm just going to paint the whole thing. And then I'm going to figure out how to make it evident that these are in fact actual playing cards that I just customize or upcycle. So here I am giving the first and kind of the second layer of paint to this card. And then it occurred to me that maybe what I could do is trace the cue from the card so it looked better than my handwriting and closer to the original card design. Then I added a third layer of paint and at first I was going to do only one cube but then I thought it best to do both of them and then gave the card a fourth and a fifth layer of paint. Then I traced the cue again on both sides so I could still see it and added the sixth layer of paint trying to cover the original design. And then I think because this was taking so many layers of paint to cover, I just had to bring an extra card and see what happened if I used one layer of an opaque acrylic on it to see if it would be faster. But as you can see, this layer, this one layer isn't enough either and it doesn't cover the joker. So back to the queen card and its seventh layer of white paint. And for the joker, well, I'll show you at the end of the video what happened to this card. So bye bye for now. And then I chose to change the color of that letter Q to a purple because at this point I had so much free time between layers of white paint drying. This is me waiting for paint to dry that I had time to choose a color palette for my cards and I just couldn't live with the queen of clubs not being teal. So now the queen of hearts is going to be purple. And here it is finally ready to create on my first card. And don't worry, I'm not going to put you through that again. I did the other ones too in the background. I did try gesso on one of them first to see if it was better and it wasn't. They all needed a bazillion layers. And now because I have this nice white surface to draw on, I'm super nervous to start sketching. <laughs> but I do. I start sketching and here is my first new queen. And I decided to go Go for a forest friends kind of theme so my first queen is gonna be a little bear and here she is holding her heart and of course she can't be a queen without a crown first design on and it's time to paint and then I ran out of battery on my cell phone I'm sorry so this is why I'm changing the angle because it's charging I didn't do much though just that purple strip on the background and then I painted the bear brown. I thought I was going to be okay with this brown, but as soon as it was all covered, I hated it. So I mixed some acrylic paint and covered my bear again, and then moved on to coloring the details like her crown. And I added a bunch of little hearts to the background. I just wanted it to have a little bit more depth rather than just the figure of the bear there. Uh, so I added white and some things like I swear my white Posca, especially the 3M, the nib is always stained. The good thing is you can clean that up and then it's ready to use. So after finishing the background, I only had to color her purple heart and give her eyes and of course, line everything up. Just the lining makes it look so much cuter. I did add some eyelashes and rosy cheeks and of course, the white little sparks on her eyes. And this is my first card. Here is the queen of hearts. So happy with the first card. Clear that out and in comes my second cue. And I'm going to warn you right now, I struggled with this one. The other three were 
easy peasy, but this one for some reason I struggled with. So here's my sketch. I designed a little owl and she's holding her suit, which is pigs. And for doing the pics on this card, I really had to bring it really, really close because I couldn't really see. On the queue of hearts, the heart was still coming through a bit, so it was easier to trace, but anyhow. Trace the pics, I did the same thing, the line through the background, colored everything, and here's where it starts getting longer. Once everything was colored, I hated the color scheme. I just could not live with it. So I had to go back and I think the worst part was the little pics I tried to add to the background. I hate it. Could not live with those. Had to go back to the background and make some acrylics and change that color because I, I swear I could not stand it. It doesn't look as bad when I'm editing on screen, but I had to change it. So I changed the background, changed the color of my little owl to something less saturated. And then I tried to add pics to the background and that was just simply awful. So again, I had to cover that up and ended up just adding little white hearts and that looked great. So finally tracing my whole image with my black marker, giving it its personality, eyes, everything. And finally, my owl queen was done. Yay, this, as I said, was the longest of the four, of the five, of the five cards I made. I made the Joker too. So now we're gonna speed through this one. It's not gonna be as bad. I just brought in the other one for scale so they look about the same size. And the Queen of Clubs is gonna be a bunny. And as I said, I was gonna use the teal for it. So here's my cute bunny. Oop, the bear needed a mouth. I had forgotten when I traced it. Uh, so with the bunny again, did the same thing. The thick stripe on the background, I went for gray for the bunny. I usually like my bunnies white, but it didn't make sense to have a white bunny on the white background. And I actually ended up loving this. I love how the gray looks in the whole design. I think my favorite part for this card was adding the little clubs on the background. I think they turned out super cute with the white as well. And again, just to finish it up, I lined everything in black so it looks nicer. And here is my fourth card, my fourth queen. Three queens out of the way and the fourth and final one I decided to do a little Foxy Queen, keeping up with my Forest Friends theme, I created a little fox and of course she is holding a diamond. Same process basically, just colored her in, did something for the background. For some reason when I was painting the fox I did not notice I was off frame so I did all of the painting and the second layer of painting off frame. But luckily for the lining, I put it back in the middle. So here's my last card and I haven't forgotten about the backs. So here are the backs of my cards. Yes, five. Remember I have the Joker in there somewhere. And what I chose to do was bring in the four colors that were supposed to be my color scheme. And instead of covering the whole back of the cards, I decided to add some of these colors onto the cards themselves. So then you can definitely see these were existing cards that I just mm, slushed up and I made just more beautiful with my designs. <laughs> which basically meant I added simple little dots, colored in some things, and of course added those hearts, and here's the before and after, and I think, you know, that's good enough for me for them to look special. Now, as I said many times, I did paint that teal card in the background, so I'm gonna give you exactly two seconds to pause this video and guess which of these five cards it is. Did you guess? I'm gonna start turning them. Let me know in the comments if you guessed right which of these five cards was the Joker. And as you can see, it was the one in the middle, right in between my four queens. I would also love to know which of the four cues is your favorite. Let me know. I think these two are mine. <laughs> Oh, I did also give a layer of varnish to my cards to the back and to the front because I was afraid they would peel, so they will keep better. That's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please let me know by commenting or by sharing, which really helps my small channel grow. And if you like this one, I'm sure you're going to love watching this video next too. Have a wonderful day. Bye.